guys, and welcome to Let's Play The Elder Scrolls Online Beta. Um, the last four episodes were just getting into the game and trying it out, and well, now, and you know, seeing what we can do, and we had our pointy stick, and uh, yeah, and then it kind of crashed on us, but we're back, and we were heading. Oh well this way to help the guys that were sort of dead on the beach and we sort of got all of the stuff as well. Hey dude, uh do you want, I lost you want some a lot help? of friends in that storm. Give me some good news. Sergeant Fern sent me to find you. I saw her swept overboard in that damn storm. Held on to the rigging long as I could, but it tore the skin off my palms. If I can't hold a weapon, I'm useless to my squad. Do you have any bandages? I lost my kit to the sea. This torch bug too will make help. Low juice? Used to think this stuff was only good for practical jokes on snowy days. Once I can heft Spleen Shanker, I'll push through the beach and find Sergeant Ferian. How about you? I told Sergeant Fern I'd find the rest of your squad. Hope they appreciate their good fortune when you find them. I can get inland after I rest. Fight with purpose. Goodbye. I thought she was going to say straight. Hey, buddy. Alright. Well, we st still got that person in our party. I don't know why. But who cares? Not me. Oh, actually, I kind of do. Let's get my stick up just in case. Skeever. Oh, oh no! Got the skills. Let's take all of the scraps, and that one's got no scraps. That's no good. Um, hi, I'm here to help you. Malaysia, I'm glad you came by. Have you seen any other Marines along the beach? Sorry, Sergeant Farrah sent me to find you. She's alive. I suppose that's some luck amidst all this wreckage. Can't say the same for my leg. If I don't put too much weight on it, I can manage a good hobble. Sergeant Fern said this torch bug tree look would help. Glow juice? By the gods, it just might. Soon as I can stand on my own, I'll head inland. I found everyone in your squad. Lieutenant Gellin dragged me out of the water. He'll want to know Sergeant Furion and the rest of the squad are all right. I think he said something about looking for shelter in a nearby cave, but I was still coughing up sand. Mm. Goodbye. Alright, so that's all of the, the three people. Right, so... Does that mean that we have to go back down there, or...? Oh no, look. Collect masterwork for him, and go to the cave. So, if we head... Which is it, this way? Oh, no, we don't want that. We have no pending notifications. Actually, do you know what? We're here. Yep, we got. Uh, you have found a quick slot item. Placing potions and other items into quick slots will allow you to easily access to other mem them while in combat. If I can get the words out. Um, let's have a look at that anyway. Alright, so we got that. If we right click, I believe. Uh, no. Um, damn it! Get me inventory back up. Uh, wait, are these any good? No, we've got the, the crap ones. Ooh, let's equip them. Apparel. Do what, actually. Let's go to character. Character stats. Here we go. We leveled up and we didn't do any of the skills. So let's increase uh, Magicka. Because why not? Let's E commit them points. Now skills. Ah, here we go. Already transferred over. So Dark Magic, Crystal Shard. Deals 38 magic damage to enemy and knocks down for 2 seconds. Daedric summoning. Summons are familiar to attack enemies. Toggle to activate. Reduces max magicka by 10%. Mage's Fury. Deals 10 shock damage. Explodes for an additional 36 shock damage. If the target falls below 20% health within 4 seconds, the explosion deals 7 shock damage to enemies within a 4 meteor radius. Ooh. So we've got weapon stuff. One handed, two handed. Destruction stuff. What does this do? Deals 14 magic to fire. Okay, this. D I mean, the best one at the moment seems to be the crystal shard. That does the most damage. Or we can have a summon. 
Yeah, we're gonna take a summon. Uh, yeah, we'll unlock that, please. And then we'll exit that. We've only got one point. Oh no, we have got another point. Okay. So what we're doing then, if we get that as well. There we go. Bam! Alright. Let's try these things out. Let's get our summon out. There he is. Look, there he is. Good old little friend out now. Come on, familiar. Let's go. We're heading up this way. Why do I keep checking the map? It's on the bar above your head, James. Are you still following me, Mr. Familiar? Yeah, good man, good man. That's what we want. And I got stuck on a bit of wood. Am I going to get stuck down here? Oh no, this just my be where the cave is, so... Is that a snake? It's a stupid snake. Ooh. Come on, little goblin. Look, another snake, look. What? Wait, did I actually hit it in the end? Okay. Uh, I guess there's another snake. Fine, Lieutenant. Okay. Uh, I guess these are normal guys. What are you doing? Okay, I think this guy's dead. Tied to a blood stain post, it's the body of a wolf elf marine. He appears to have died recently. Examine the corpse. The armor bears the insignia of the Amarin Army Lieutenant. His corpse is soaked in blood as if from many shallow cuts. Grinish foam mingles with the smeared blood. Continue the explanation. The cuts on the lieutenant's body from a strange but repetitive patterns. His blood was smeared across the uncut portions of the skin to create weave like symbols. The exact cause of death is unclear. Goodbye. That means. What we have to do is get the fudge out of here, because this cave is very dangerous. Actually, there's got to be something in this cave, I mean... Literally, uh, probably a giant snake or something. Nothing? Anybody? Iron ore? Okay, I guess we've already got a pickaxe, which is quite good. Thank you all. I guess we'll take that iron ore. I don't see why not. I do not. Um, I guess there isn't actually anything in here at all, so we'll just leave now then. Right, um, wow. You're conveniently placed, lady. I need to find you. Turns out my squad were the ones who found me. Ever consider a career as a Dominion Marine? You'd make quite a scout. My squad said you were looking for Lieutenant Gellin. Have you found him? I found his body in the cave. Someone killed him. What do you mean? It looked like he was killed in some kind of ritual. First a hurricane blows out of nowhere and destroys our fleet. Then an able-bodied Dominion Marine is captured and tortured to death? What else was in that cave? Lots of bones, candles and snakes. Also wooden pots. Well, posts, some not pots. Sacrifice? This is too big for my squad to handle. We need reinforcements. Miss Dell spotted a beach ship nearby. It looks intact, and she spotted the minion sailors aboard. What are you going to do? We need to combine our forces and find who murdered Lieutenant Gellin. My squad and I need to pull his body out of that damn cave. Would you warn the sailors on that beach ship? They need to know it's not safe to wander around. I'll warn them. Good. The squad's wounds are slowing them down, but we'll be along shortly. Goodbye. I'm s um, okay, it was lovely talking to you, but I'm stuck. Um, ah, here we go. Now we're away. We're away! Oh, is my little guy still following? Yeah, he's still around, look. Oh, snap! And that's what I call a skill. I'll help you from afar. Or I'll just go over to this ship where there's loads of people and we'll do some stuff over here. Hello, I'm here to speak to you. Hello? Not a slick arsed sea viper or a cabbage mouth castaway. State your business with the crew of the Prowler. The Dominion Marine was killed in a nearby cave. The hurricane killed hundreds of Marines. 
Why does it matter if one of them died in the cave? He was murdered in some kind of ritual. His squad needs reinforcements. Oh. Well, the Prowler is like a hen in the wolf den until she's seaworthy again. Maybe your marines can prove they're more than two-legged cargo in shiny armor. If they pitch in, I'll consider reinforcements. Are they up for it? Or are they all talk? I'm sure they'll help where they can. And I'm sure they'll be as useful as they were in the hurricane. Should they care to prove otherwise, they're welcome to do actual work patching leaks in the Prowler's hold. Maybe they can locate the replacement helmsman's wheel in all this wreckage. I'll see if they can find the helmsman's wheel and patch up the ship. Oh, and our sun sighter. Must have fallen overboard when we beached. Our lookout saw those skink fingered pirates make off with it. You'll have to get the sun sighter back any way you can. I have a few questions. Sure. Talking's easier than working. Well, ask. Who are the sea vipers? Barnacles on the arse. And they're all sea elves. Malmer, they call themselves. Nothing more than pirates, if you ask me. Some say they have a connection to the water itself, but it's a lie. Anyone can learn weather magic like they do. Uh, what's a sun slider? Captain Jimela uses it to navigate. I could tell you how the sun and stars show the ship's exact position. But none of it matters while it's in the Sea Viper's hands. Tell me about the Prowler. The pride of the long coast. We'll sail for the Dominion as long as they pay us to raid enemy shipping. Are you pirates? Oh, man, Jord. Don't let the captain hear you say that. Pirates steal and pillage for themselves. We're privateers. So we do it for whoever pays us. A crucial distinction. Who is in charge of the Prowler? Captain Jimela took over the Prowler a few years ago. She's smart, cunning, and deadly dangerous when provoked. She's also luckier than anyone I served. Every ship in the fleet smashed to flinders on Kenarthi's roost. Every ship but the Prowler. Okay, goodbye. Now we're gonna go and fix up all of your shit because I'm nice like that. I guess we're going inside of the... Prowler. Um, okay, I guess that guy was inside of me. Guess we're going down here. Ah. Let's fix this up. Now there is no hole in the floor. I don't know how, but I'm going to patch it up again. And patch another leak. Uh, I guess that's all there is down here. So I guess we want to go back outside. See how nice I am to people? I don't mind helping. I'm such a good guy. Let's check out our map. So we want to go off the ship and down to that person over there for some reason. Oh, it's that lady. Okay. You need to help people. These aren't Dominion sailors. They're privateers. Just our luck. Quartermaster Owen promised reinforcements when the Prowler is repaired. We'll show that old sea cat what Dominion Marines can do. Sea Vipers stole the Prowler Sunsider. Onglorn is our best tracker. He can recover the Sunsider in no time. No, I'll look for the Sunsider myself. I bet your way. What else needs doing? I can handle the rest myself. All right. I appreciate what you've done for us. We'll keep the Prowler safe while you take care of the rest. Goodbye. Well, I guess I made a mistake by saying I'll do everything, but... Okay, I guess that person doesn't need our help. Oh, uh, what's this? Okay, the wheel. Uh... So I guess it's around... Okay, maybe I should have let him do it? Um... Hello, little sheep. Are you okay? Hmm. There's a thunder rug. Let's see what damage that can do. Dark magic increased to two. Ha ha. To make something increase it too as well. Nice. All right. 
I'm guessing. What's up here? Where are we? That's not where we want to go. Um, well, it could be. But we're looking for. Oh, Christ. You got knocked the fuck out. I'll just take everything because um, I like that. Aha! Uh -huh. I think I may have found what I am looking for. But what we'll do, guys, is we'll head in there in the next episode. So, thank you for watching. And I will see you next time.